Hello and welcome to episode one of a start from scratch series on the Iowa Plains view map in Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we're just down at the shop picking up this little Kubota car uh, which we'll have for a few days. We don't have anything else because we are starting from scratch. Now I'll just show you the map which is here. It's just a, a normal size map, I think. Um, I'm not sure why this isn't on, on consoles as well, but, but there we are. It's just on PC at the moment. Uh, so um, I'm struggling a bit because most of the fields on this map are quite expensive. For example, the smallest field, I don't know, this one here, 11, is... 101,000 which sounds quite a lot, lot of money uh, but I found a small area that I like the look of up here and I'm told it's a, an abandoned farm so let's hop in the car and go and take a look uh, now I have memorized the route yeah, I think it's right right left so we'll go up here I'm not a very good driver so do excuse my bad driving <laughs> So, it's a right, right, left, I'm sure. So we have the traffic on, so I better be careful because I don't want to damage this car they've, they've lent us. So. Let's see what this abandoned farm is like, shall we? I think this is it here. Gosh, okay. There's a sign, what does this sign say? Land for sale, abandoned farm. Let's see if we can even get our car in there. No, I don't think we can. Gosh, look at this. Abandoned farm. Okay, well maybe there's something we can do about it. Let's see if somebody will buy all of this rubbish. <laughs> I nearly said something else then, but I can't swear on camera. So, I don't think we want these sheds. Mm, I mean, they might come in handy, but... I don't know, everything's a bit overgrown here and dilapidated. So, let's see. Let's go to construction and go to actually do you know what we need to buy the land first so let's buy the land first how much is it yeah it's a bargain <laughs> 57,000 57,000 and this must be the same sort of area as this field here which I know is eight sort of hectares so let's buy it yes because we can't sell anything until we buy it obviously so <laughs> yes uh, so basically we've more or less got this land for free but what the heck are we going to do with it well I think we need to smooth out these lumps first thing so let's try and do that as well uh, let's go to landscaping and uh, not painting but yeah leveling and let's make it bigger that one done that one done. Do another one. This one. Uh, okay. Whoa. That didn't take very long. So I think we need to map out a yard here. So let's go and get our car. Actually, we don't need to get our car. We'll leave it there so it's off, off, off the premises. So what we need to do is to go back to construction and do a bit of uh, landscaping and painting now, I think. So let's go to concrete. Um, so, if we map out sort of a yard, now I think that we can go this way a little bit. Yeah, that's as far as we can go. So, that's good. So, we can do a straight line here. And how big of a yard do we want? Well, okay. Maybe like that. Maybe a one more. And then come this way a bit. Uh, do you know what? This might take me a little while, so I'll do it on a bit of a fast forward, and I'll, I'll see you when I'm when I'm when I'm done. Okay, this might be okay for a yard. Um, I don't want to make it too big because it will. We want more land than yard, you know, we need to make some money. So I think what we need to do now is go and get a, a, a tractor and a plough and make something of this, this field because I'm pretty sure if I stand on the field it's going to be uh, like a placeable field and there'll be no information 
and it won't be anything we can we can use to to grow crops or even even have proper grass so we need to plow this whole lot because this is not real a real field this is a placeable field so but we can make it a real field so let's go and decide on a tractor and a plow so uh, I have sort of a go-to tractor which is a um, a class it's right at the end here somewhere it's this class Aryan so I'm not sure I need a front loader attacher at the moment we can I might just upgrade this to 205 horsepower and I'm gonna rent it I'm not gonna buy it for the moment so I'll just lease it yes and then we need to find a um, a, a plow let's go for that lizard one it's uh, I think it's nine meters yes yeah we want the big one thanks <laughs> so let's lease it okay I'm gonna pop off to the shop and I'll I'll see you when I get back okay it's very handy that the shop is so near to this to this uh, field um, it means we can get things so easily I might have gone a bit wrong with this uh, painting here I'm gonna have to uh, I'm not happy with this concrete bit here but uh, I'll do that uh, off off camera so let's make a let's make a start with the plow because we need to map out the whole field that we're gonna plow I might just go th go around and do an outline so but first of all I need to sort out the edge of this yard here so let's just um, I'm gonna do a bit of a fast forward of me doing all this plowing stuff because it's gonna take a little while to, to sort it all out This is a very very large area to plow um, I, I, I could be here all day plowing this I think but I'd rather take a break from it and um, and do something else I was thinking about doing some forestry for one for one thing we can see a bit more of the map so I shall leave my plow here I'll just uh, line it up and just leave it here before we go away actually um, let's just lower it and detach before we go away uh, I would like to have a look at the, the next door's field because I would like to buy this. This is our immediate neighbour. Wheat, oh, harvested, okay. I might wait. I'm not sure what to do. I might wait and see if they if they put anything in. But um, if they don't, you know, we could, drilling time is September. So it might be best if we buy this and then, uh, and then put uh, wheat or barley into it in September. But uh, I like to normally buy a field when it's ready to harvest, so you get some cash back, you know, from the harvest. Um, but I'll have to think about that. So let's go down to the shop and pick up a logging trailer. And then there is actually, let me just show you, there's a, a forest here, uh, which is zero dollars. So I'm going to buy that and uh the, the the trees on there are american elm i think I've, I've i've looked at that before and they're a bit branchy <laughs> so it might be a bit of work to uh fill up the logging trailer because uh, there's lots of branches to cut off and you can't trim them as easily as something like spruce so but i think it's still worth doing so uh let's go this way right then left then left i think it is so uh, i normally would cut out the driving but uh, because it's a new map and you may not know it um i'll leave the driving in for the moment because it's only a short drive to the shop so yeah the shop is just here it's really close to us so um let's go and get a logging trailer 
Okay, so we had to get Dolly as well. Um, let's find our way to the forest down here because I'm not sure how to get there. So if we turn right and then do another right and then straight down here. Okay, that's fine. I will, I will leave the journey in, but I might do a little bit of a fast forward. Okay, so it looks like this is the way in, just here. I just need to turn around in this bit and uh, get into the forest. Sorry chaps. Um, and I think this is our forest we can cut down here. But like I said, it is American Elm, which is a, a slight problem because it's, like I said, it's very branchy. But uh, I don't have anything here apart from, actually I don't even have a chainsaw at the moment. So do, let's just get a chainsaw. I always like the red one. I'll get that and I will also need super strength because I haven't got any other equipment here so let's try cutting down a tree and putting it on the on the wagon yeah we can ch cut it down that's fine and we can also get rid of the stuff and that <laughs> so yeah so I have to cut off the uh, the branches so this might take a while so what I'll do is do a bit of a time-lapse on this and uh, so you can see what I'm doing but uh, I might start regretting it after a while <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyway Well, that's about three American elm trees, I think. So uh, that should do it. I'm, I'm a bit worried the class won't be able to uh, pull it where it needs to go. So uh, I should have checked first to make sure that we can sell wood. So let's just make sure we can. Here's wood. We can sell it at the carpentry. Well, best price at the carpentry. So where is the carpentry? Let's have a look for that. Oh, it's just here. Yeah, just there. So we come out and we go down there and we turn left there right there left there and then <laughs> up there okay fine um i shall go and hopefully i can turn around somewhere um let's strap it all down and i will record the journey i'll put it on like i say uh, like a time lapse again so we see a bit of the map um so i will see you when we get there carpentry so I guess we go in here I've never been in here before yes so okay so I guess we just drive over there and sell wood here Two and a half thousand? <laughs> Hardly worth it. Two and a half thousand for that? I thought we'd get about ten thousand. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm glad we did it anyway, so we can see how much we get for our wood. But it might be better to, if we can, to buy the carpentry. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to need this, um, this, 
the dolly uh, or the timber anymore anymore because I, I don't fancy doing any more uh, long runs for two and a half thousand. So let's send this back. I'm glad we did it because, um, you know, we got to see how much you get for wood. Um, and it might be worth buying the carpentry. Carpentry, I think, is 60,000. Um, so, and then our wood would be worth a lot more. So, um, okay, I'll see you when we get back to our field. So I think I would like to buy Nextor's field because um, very soon we're going to get all the equipment for precision farming like uh, a slurry spreader and a lime spreader and the um, the thing that analyzes the field that I can't remember the name of now and we could use it all in one go for this field here and that field over there because this I, uh, you know, you bet your bottom dollar, this isn't a precision farming field. It never is, is it, Where, when you buy somebody else's field? No, so we can... Uh, today, I would like to analyse this field when we've when we've ploughed it all. I assume we can get it all done today, the ploughing. And then I'd like to analyse it, because I would really like to know what it's made of. And at the same time, we could analyse next door's field. Um, I, might not, um, I might not use the, the machine to analyse it because it would take a long time. Let's just see how much it costs. But anyway, let's finish off the ploughing and then we can worry about the uh, the, the analysing. So I'll see, you when, I'll see you when this is done. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a field. <laughs> It's taken a long time, but we do eventually have a field. Let's have a look at it. It is absolutely massive, actually. It's really big, which I'm pleased about. Um, um, I think the field next door, let's just have a look at the field next door, uh, where our field is here now. So if we want to buy the field next door, it says here that it's 8.88 hectares. I, I assume that HA means hectares and not acres. I'm not sure. So that must mean that this field here is about the same, and that's a big field. So what I'd like to do with this field is put um, a, like a proper field like next door for crops here and have lots of grass here as well so we can mow, get lots of grass and have a proper field here for crops. Um, so I will just get off this bumpy ploughed land and go here. Um, so I would like to know what this field is made of now. Um, so let's go to precision farming and s how much to analyze the field. Okay, to purchase soil information, 14,000. Wow. Um, okay. Um, how much is it for next door? I can't purchase it for next door. Uh, let me just think. No, money is so precious that I think we could do it much more cheaply, maybe for 5,000 with the uh, Zarya Scout. So I'm going to go down the shop. I'm going to take my plough back. I don't think I'll need the plough again. No, let's go down the shop and I'm going to hire the Zarya Scout and do it like that because I, even though I have to work into the night to do it, I, I would rather save 10,000 by doing it that way. So I'll see you when we're back at the field with the, with the Scout. So, yeah, I know this is going to take a lot longer, but um, I really need not to spend so much money. Um, yes, it's working. That's very good. OK, I'm going to go all over the field. I won't do a fast forward on this because I've probably done quite a few in this episode uh, so far. So I'll just go all over the field and I'll see you when I'm finished. So what do you think this American soil is made of then? I hope it's something good. The last time I analysed the field on a different map it was all silty clay. So, soil samples. Okay, uh, we've sent them off and I wonder how much it will cost. We've got 486,000 now so let's see how much it will cost. Um, and I hope it's less than 14,000. I'm going to go over to our uh, our yard here because I would like to put down a home. I don't like being homeless so I would like to have a home. There's our analysis. There is our analysis and we have a little bit of silty clay here but the rest is 
Sandy Loam and Loam, which is all fine. So, a bit of a disappointment. Does that mean that this field three is silty clay? Um, I would like to get an analysis before we actually buy it. I mean, you get a survey done on a house, you should get a survey done on, on a field, I think. So what I might do is buy it, do the analysis, and then sell it again, <laughs> which will be a bit cheeky. But um, so um, what I'd like to do to finish off the episode is to buy a home. So let's go to construction and we will go to farmhouses and there is a, a nice caravan here i live in the south of england and I, there's lots of farms around where i live and lots of caravans on farms so i think this is quite appropriate and i might put it over here so i'll just put it just here so now when i look out the window i can see the road and see see my machines and see if anyone's coming and and everything so <laughs> so I'm glad I've got a home um, and also we have rented equipment here and I will keep the class because we might need that tomorrow we probably will need that tomorrow but I will send back the the Azaria Scout and while I'm at it I'll just see if there's any cheap uh, tractors in here there's this but no we don't need that so thanks very much for joining me today we've got quite a lot done and it's not an abandoned farm anymore so i might do something about this but other than that i will see you next time bye for now